It's Saturday, 28th of September, 2024, and it's time for our wait for today. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl here, Anita Brown, in case you're coming across my channel for the first time. All right, my darling. Yes, what is that? Anyway, how, how is your weekend going? I hope it's going on well. Okay, mine is. I'm alive. I'm happy. Our topic today says, depend on God. Part one. So we're going to do part one, part two, part three. Okay. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of Philippians 4, verse 13. You know the verse. You want me to read it for you? I can do all things to Christ that strengthens me. Are you doubting it? Let's look, let's go through the Bible. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. You see him. All right, my darling. Let's continue. Hmm. Paul shares with us the keys to his amazing success in life. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. There is a syndrome called failure to launch. It's experienced by people who feel insecure about their future. They never seem to get to the place in life where they feel ready. So they miss out on opportunities. You don't want that. Life says, ready or not, here I come. Now, life inevitably doesn't mean that preparation is trivial. It's important, but feeling ready is overvalued. We are called to walk by faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. When God brought the Israelites into the promised land, he told them to step into the Jordan River first. After he parted the water, if they had waited for evidence first, they would be waiting on the banks still. Faith grows when God says go and you say yes. The truth is you don't realize what you can do until you do it. Ready happens quicker if you're already moving. If you wait to move until you're completely ready, you will wait until you die. And you don't want that, my darling. Jesus doesn't tell us, go, you are ready. He tells us, go, I will go with you. You will grow as you go. You will develop as you do. Here is the key. The thing that makes you ready for anything and equals to anything is him who infuses inner strength into you. God designed it that way because he wants you to depend on him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Depend on God. Don't be faster than your shadow. I'm still talking to myself. <laughs> this is a community where, where we are actually just saying things the way it is. There is no famine here. We are, okay. All right, my darling, you see it. So you need to follow God's instructions, not your own. Okay, when you say, oh, I need to do this one, I need to do this one, I'm ready, I'm ready. That's not how God wants it. It's, you remember, we walk by faith, not by sight. So once you start doing those things, you believe in God, first of all, and you start walking and walking and walking, step by step, you will get there. But when you say, oh, I'm ready, I just want to stand up, start doing this thing, you make so much mistakes that by the time you want to turn back, it's late. And you don't want that, my darling. So you have to depend on God, okay? That is it for today. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today. And we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous video? We're going to see the chapters we've read, okay? But for today, we are reading Isaiah chapter 50, chapter 51, chapter 52, and Colossians chapter 2. Thank you again for listening. I love you, but God loves you most. Remember, depend on God. He will direct and lead you to the right path. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.